This is Viburnum tinus. Loris tinus is the common name. So this is an evergreen shrub. Um, it's widely grown and uh, it's kind of a, a workhorse of sorts. A lot of people use this in landscape design. Um, I'm not a big user of it. Uh, I've used it a few times, but um, here's what it's good for. Uh, it is 6 to 12 feet tall. Um, has a nice dark green foliage, is easy to grow, seems to grow in a lot of different soils. I see this all over the place, so it seems to be very flexible in terms of soil and conditions. And um, also drought tolerant. I know that this yard you're looking at here, this is established on drip irrigation. A lot of larger shrubs don't like that over time. Uh, by the way, you're looking at the flowers and see the buds, how they're a nice deeper pink color. Uh, very showy and early. Here's the leaf, close up of the leaf. It's got kind of a leathery uh, texture to it, nice dark green. And reddish stems on the newer growth. See the berry there? These get a, a purplish steel blue berry to them that follow these flowers. And um, again, see the pink buds on the flowers there before they open up. These flowers are also lightly fragrant. Uh, I, while I was filming this, though, I wasn't aware of any real fragrance like some, some of the um, heavy flowers can give you. So for me, this is a background uh, shrub that, um, in this case, you're looking at one that is about um, 9 feet tall, 8 to 10 feet tall, let's say, by uh, 5 to 7 feet wide in diameter. This is multiple plants here. And I also like to show these because these have not been pruned. Uh, most of the examples I find find of these, they're fairly pruned, and you'll see one at the end where they're kept at about two and a half to three feet high. That's very common for this plant, but know that uh, the straight viburnum tinus uh, can get taller, like you see here, and wider. Um, so if you need a background screen type of plant, or um, you know just a, a taller layer. Uh, this is very effective for that. Some of the viburnums also are deer tolerant. Um, I'm not sure about this one to be honest, so you would have to check elsewhere to find out about deer tolerance. And um, just a, it's not a, a fancy plant and something that you put in for show, but it is a good background plant. And then in the spring, this is shot in mid-March by the way, you're going to get a good um, couple of months of bloom out of this. It's very long blooming in late winter, early spring in our area. So um, use it for that. And then the rest of the time, it's just a nice dark green background foliage plant. Again, if I were planting these, I would put these at probably four to five feet on center and expect them to grow six to ten feet tall without a whole lot of work. And that's what I can tell you about uh, vi oh, cold hardiness. Um, I believe these are hardy well below uh, freezing. I'm not sure the exact hardiness, but these are not affected at all by our temperatures in the 20s Fahrenheit. So um, check this in the book for uh, your area to make sure that it's okay for what you're doing. Also, there's a common um, hybrid called spring bouquet and um, it's shorter. It, it's kind of three to five feet tall, I believe. Um, but just make sure that depending on the height and what you need, you're getting the correct uh, variety for that. All right, and that is uh, Viburnum tinus, Loris tinus.